sponsored by Salute Beer Shop, located at 3306 North Davidson Street in the Noted District of Charlotte. Check out their huge selection of craft beer in bottles, cans, and growlers, and see what's on tap in the tasting room. Salute Beer Shop. Drink real beer. Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave with NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos to introduce you to some of the great beers available in the state, and we're always proud to bring you a brand new location and a brand new beer. Yep. And this beer's been around a little while, but you've not gotten it before in this tap room because the Fort Saints Brewing Company in Ashboro has just opened about a month ago, and we're very fortunate to come over today and do a buzz, so look for that later this week. And we're going to now drink their uh, Genesis product. It's a Belgian Double. And we hope you will find your way to Ashboro or one of the local accounts. They've got some accounts up around Greensboro and some here in Randolph County. Yep. And ask for the Genesis and see what you think of it. So what they say at uh, Four Saints, which is at 218 South Fayetteville Street in Ashboro, and this is a Belgian Double, as I said. It comes in at a 7.1 ABV. 16.3 IBU, so a little bit low on the IBUs, as it should be with a double. Yep. And they say it's malty, fruity, and spicy. I like that combo. That all sounds right <laughs> down my alley. You know, this is really close to being a triple, and those Belgians are my favorite, so this is just going to be my kind of beer, I think. Nice uh, malt aroma. Yep. I don't, get a, lot, I don't get a lot of citrus or fruit in the aroma, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, but you get it in the. Um, oh yeah. You taste it. Clearly, in the taste. Yep. Talk for it's, it's uh, in, in my mind, it's less malt forward in the taste than it was in the aroma. But I love the citrus and fruitiness. It's got a wonderful combination. That little sharpness to it. Mm -hmm. And it, it actually, if you are not into Belgians. It overcomes some of that Belgian yeastiness that some people don't care about in Belgium. Right, yeah. That, I think this is a less of a Belgian y uh, double than you've it, had in some. It, it's, it's got some on the back end, mm -hmm. but not overwhelming. It, it's got oh, I think you know you're flavor. drinking a Belgian. Yeah you, right. know, yeah, you know you have it, but it's, it's got a nice combination. And the, the dark fruity flavors are wonderful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got um, a little bit of bite, but not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't, really. I mean, it, that's right. It's, it's kind of really it's, it's true a, to style. It's a, it's a double, right? Right. And we happen to have just learned in our buzz. I'll give you a preview of what you're going to see on Thursday. Mm. Uh, Andrew was the original home brewer and the brewer of this team, and this was his original brew, and perhaps the one he's most in love with because it's the one that he goes closer to his heart, and he's been brewing for the longest time. And it is one of the flagships here at Four Saints, along with the uh, Omi, which is the Blondale, the Hefeweizen, which is German wheat the uh, Potter's Clay, which is their amber. They have an ESB called Bitter Brothers, and they have a stout, which is a stout one, which is, I guess, stout number one is the first stout they brewed. And of course, they're also gonna have their four saints seasonal. Right. One seasonal for each saint, and I can't name the four beer saints. Yeah, I can remember that. But there's four of them. Uh, one of them being St. Nicholas. That's the winter saint, I do know that. But much. either way, you're not gonna go wrong with any of these. It's really I, a pleasant, you know, we've been, as I said, We've been drinking some Four Saints beer for a while because they've had their product out at festivals. They've been, right, they've been at festivals. We've always been so pleased with the of trying mm -hmm. what they put out. Yep. And yet we kind of were waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're finally here. Patience wins. And it's well worth the trip to That's Ashboro. Right. Yep. And even if you're not going for any other reason, but particularly if you're going through Ashboro, make the time to find your way to South Pebble Street. Give the guys at Four Saints a try and say hey to Andrew or Joel and tell them we'd see you. I say you just make it a destination. You go to our map, you find where they're at, and you come here because it'll be worth the ride. And then go find the next close one on the map and do a little beer road trip. Well, that'd be a road trip, all right? But this is worth the ride. You can go to the zoo while you're here. That's right. Or maybe even go. better, after you've been to the zoo with the kids all day, you might need a beer. It becomes adult time. <laughs> it becomes adult, adult time. time. And it is kid and dog friendly, so. Bring them in, order in some food. Win-win. Sounds great. For Glenn and Dave, this is NC Beer Guys, reminding you to drink local, visit Four Saints, and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.